A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Wa Salati Wa Salam Ashraf Al Mursaleen, Sayyidina Wa Mawlana Muhammad Al Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Bi madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidiya Rasul Kareem, Mi Habib Al Azim. Madad ya Sayyidiya Sultanil Awliya Man Shaykh Abdul Faiz Al Daghestani, Sultanil Awliya Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani, Mawlana Shaykh Al Shaykh Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Adil. Ma abdi khaliq al-khujdawani, sahib zaman Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam, ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyifullah Sayyidina alayhi salam, Dhumma Sabbaq al-Sadiq, Sayyidina Ummah, Sayyidina Uthmah, Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam, Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam, wa Sayyidatina Fatima tuza alayhi salatu salam, wa Sayyidu Sadatina wa Siddiqin al-Fatiha. Fi atiyya Allah, atiyya Rasul, ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajisu da'ifu miskinu zalimu jahad. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. And with everything that happening around us and the blessed month that is the dress of Surat al Qamar, the realities of 54, and iqtarab as sa'ad that look for the, the clock and alhamdulillah Allah make everything to be a reality that is right in front of us and we don't have to make things to be complicated. As soon as the clock in Mecca went up, iqtarab as saat that, that was a, a big isharat that is usher, ushering in a Mahdiyoon time in which the Realities of Sayyidina Mahdi salam appear where Prophet taught to as alamat and signs for the arrival of his blessed grandson and that how deception would fill the earth and the, the leader of deception would appear. And so the Dajjal and Imam Mahdi salam they go side by side that for that deception to appear Allah gave a salvation to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad with the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi And we talked last night that many are teaching about the alamat, alhamdulillah. When they try to give <coughs> the understanding of physical locations and this is where Juja Maju, this is this, this is this, more important is the haqqaiq of these alamat. When Sayyidina Muhammad is describing for us that three places on this earth will be safe, safe from the fitna of Dajjal and to preserve those whom Allah want to be preserved for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi So when we see what type of events are coming, dukhan and immense tribulations upon the nation. Can I be heard? Yes, yes, we can hear something. Okay, sound is coming through. The earthquakes, the, the sudden death, a time of sudden death of sicknesses and difficulties, wars that would encompass the entire earth into a, a state of uh, annihilation in which they want to annihilate six out of seven human beings on earth. And this is the, the Dajjal plan to do all of these and Allah although they plan, Allah's plan is within that plan because Allah wrote the whole package. And that Allah has those whom He wants to be saved and preserved for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi and the immense reality of the Mahdiyoon and that the Mahdiyoon reality is the reflection of Sayyidina Muhammad Once they've been taught these Muhammadan haqqaiqs, when they understood the Muhammadan haqqaiq and it entered into their heart that all these awliya, all these shaykhs, all these lovers and, and muhibbeen, their love is making them to be a, a reflection of the Muhammadan reality. Then imagine the highest of that reflection returning upon this earth, Imam Mahdi 
then imagine then the immense joy they would feel to be in the presence of that reflection of the Muhammadan light. And they made their whole life for that purpose and for that cause and their reality and their teaching to give us an understanding to reach that. And when Sayyidina Muhammad is describing for us that nowhere on this earth when these fitnas are moving and rolling will be safe except Mecca, Medina and Sham al-Sharif which is Damascus. That these three locations would be safe from the entry of Dajjal to enter into its precincts and to destroy and utterly destroy that reality that Allah is preserving. And awliyaullah come into our life and begin to teach that this is three states, these are three realities that every insan should have. It's not that you're going to run to Mecca because in reality the inhabitants of Mecca are not really very clean and it's not about anybody just living there getting an apartment and being in Mecca or getting an apartment in Medina or running to Sham, many ran to Sham and, and now they're probably perished with the wars that have come. But these are haqqaiqs and realities that teach us that if we want to be with, with such holy personalities then we must be of a holy nature ourselves. That if we want to be with this immense reality, this immense pure reflection of Sayyidina Muhammad then we must be pure and clean and take a path of purity and cleanliness to reach towards that reality. So then they teach that we must be in a state of Mecca within our heart. That our heart has to be a Kaaba and that's why we were teaching before that every reference in Holy Qur'an to the Holy Kaaba is a reference for the similitude of our heart that, take my house, to clean my house, to wash my house and to circumambulate my house. Means that my life should be about my heart reaching a state in which it is like the Kaaba. That my heart should have nothing in it but the love of Allah and that I take away the idols, take away the fear, take away all that is impure and incorrect and that to perfect the station of my faith in my heart. So that my heart becomes purified, the dhikr of my heart is purified, all the actions and that's what we call waqaf al-qulub. The vigilance of my heart that these are three states, Ya Rabbi I'm trying my best to reach in which my heart is a Mecca, is a Kaaba and that my soul and my reality is in the ishq and the love of Medina and that, that my whole being and guidance is under the reality of Sham al-Sharif. So means that my heart and my whole life is about being vigilant over my heart, to purify my heart, to clean my heart that then to, to wash it. And we said before when we circumambulate means that we focus on something. If my life's focus is on my heart that every day when I'm making muraqabah and contemplation and I'm breathing, I'm focusing my breath, I'm focusing my, my thoughts upon my heart that let the light enter into my heart, that Ya Rabbi let my heart to be clean, let my actions to be clean. Then I'm, I'm, I'm washing it, I'm purifying it with zikrullah, with salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad My tawaf is my focus, that everything I do I have to think to myself that if my heart is trying to be a Kaaba, is this action going to be beneficial to my heart and to my reality? Is my purpose beneficial and my actions beneficial for my heart to be like a Kaaba and to be pure and purified in that reality? At the same time the Prophet was teaching then Medina, Medina has to be sanctified and safe. If Medina is safe then is my faith because this is Islam, Iman and wa maqam al-ihsan. When my Islam and my heart and my, my, my being has that love for Allah then it comes to the reality of my faith. 
When Prophet described that your faith is not complete until you love me more than you love yourself. So then all my practices are for this faith and light of my soul to become Muhammadiyoon. That am I, am I immensing myself, immersing myself in this immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad Then with my salawats, with, with my, my mawlis, my, my participation in the live mawlis, my, my making of durood al-sharif, my salawats on Sayyidina Muhammad my nazar and focus that, Ya Rabbi let me to be a good ambassador for that reality, let me to be Muhammadiyoon in which Sayyidina Muhammad to be happy with me, pleased with me, proud of me. That the nazar of, of Prophet to be upon me with good character, that Prophet described and emphasized the khuluq and the character. Allah emphasized, you're of a magnificent character. That means then my whole life is about the perfection of my faith, that I'm busy scrubbing and cleaning my heart. Meditating to make sure my heart is good, did I harm someone, did I do something wrong, is something wrong entering into my heart, is my heart in a good condition with Allah's nazar to be upon it. And then are my practices spiritual and emphasizing the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Because these alamat and these signs were not for us to go and run to find where you know zhuzh and majuzh are hiding and to dig them out. But these signs were for us that Allah saying their judgment day is coming. And if you're not going to prepare for judgment day then know that this event of Armageddon and these events of the last days, these events of mushkilats and difficulties are upon you. And what are you doing to safeguard yourself? It's not a matter of surviving them all, it's not a matter of, if, of exactly foretelling the date of when Sayyidina Matthew will arrive, none of that is important. What was important that Allah gave us in Ishara through the holy hadith of Sayyidina Muhammad that only Mecca, Medina and Sham sharif would be safe, make our hearts to be a Mecca. In which Allah says, I'm not in heaven, I'm not on earth but I'm on the heart of my believer. And that the heart of that servant become like a Kaaba in which the love of Allah is there. And Allah says, I'm with Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Saliheen and these are the best of company. So it means their heart is like a Kaaba as a result people are coming towards them, people are attracted towards that heart. And whatever information that heart is sending out as a signal, people are attracted to that reality. And that's what it means to be a Kaaba and a Qibla because the Kaaba itself is not something that is worshipped, it's merely a direction. Nobody's praying to the Kaaba but the Kaaba is our compass and our direction that this is where I'm focusing. So to make our heart a Mecca means to bring this good character. So that our entire focus is in our life, is in our heart. That this heart of mine Ya Rabbi every night to make my, my muraqabah, to make my cleansing, to make my attention. And the reality of my soul it has to love and it will only be with whom it loves. And its primary love for Allah and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Am I reaching towards that love and is my soul becoming Muhammadiyoon? in which my light is changing from me and it's changing into a Muhammadan light, a blessed light, a purified light. The reality of light in which Allah wanted as the most truthful light, the most light of haqq is the haqq of Nabi Muhammad And then Sham al-Sharif which represents the Sultanat and awliyaullah, that if we want that reality Am I in the company of awliyaullah? Am I in the company of those whom are trying to reach towards that reality? Do they teach me about the reality of awliyaullah from their wazifas, from their du'as, from all of their practices? These are not practices that we make up and that we put together and some people read a book and they tell a few people, you should recite this and you should recite that. These are the etiquettes that these huge awliyaullah that we believe them to be, 
the king of saints, Sultanul Awliya Imam Shaykh Abdul Faiz al Daghestani, Sultanul Awliya Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Imam al Haqqani, what legacy they gave of their etiquettes, their du'as, their prayers that they recited on daily basis, on weekly basis, on monthly basis, all of those passed down through these shaykhs and put out and these are the etiquettes that these shaykhs teach, recite these, do these practices so that we can be from them, be accompanying them, be under their nazar so that we are under the nazar of these awliyaullah so that our heart is a Kaaba. Our soul is madani and in, in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad So then we have the safety of Mecca being our heart. We have our soul as a Medina and we have our entire surrounding of energy as Sham al Sharif. At that time that person should feel that Dajjal cannot enter into that person. And that's the safety. It's not about me taking my physical place or my physical being into a holy environment and by virtue of that environment I'm safe. But Allah says, you have to make yourself that environment. You have to be Mecca. You have to have the, the character and the cleanliness, the goodness of that reality. You have to be Madani and Medina-like. We have to have that love and respect for Sayyidina Muhammad in everything you do and that your life should be always around awliyaullah. That they are the people of Sham al-Sharif, they are the people of Yawm al-Mashad in which Allah why Sham al-Sharif was so immensely important because that's the day and that's the location of Judgment Day when the throne of Allah will be brought down upon Damascus. Mawlana Shaykh's teaching is that all the Prophets and all the saints, Sahabi and Ahlul Bayt all prayed that, Ya Rabbi wherever we die that bring angels to take our souls to be buried in Sham al-Sharif so that we can be raised first amongst those people for Yawm al-Mashar and the Day of Judgment and to be under the intercession of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah in, in these days of, of difficulty Grant for us an understanding to be from a reality. It's not a matter of running to a location but to be from that location and the location to reflect its reality upon ourselves so that we all become from the safety of Mecca and that our souls are under the safety of Medina to Munawwara and our entire encapsulation is under the nazar of these awliyaullah for Damascus and Shaykh Sharif. And so that wherever we go it becomes Sham al-Sharif inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Wa alameen, Click the link now to subscribe.